Hello, my name's Alan Ware and I bring greetings and thanks to the World Academy of Arts and Science on the occasion of the 60th anniversary of this incredible organisation that's bring together leaders from all over the world for peace and for the future of the planet. In particular, this year, we're focusing on the elimination of nuclear weapons. It's 75 years, just a, a, a week ago, since the very first resolution of the United Nations which was adopted by consensus and uh, put forward uh, the goal of the elimination of nuclear weapons and all other weapons of mass destruction. We haven't got there yet. There are still 13,000 nuclear weapons in the world, but the combined efforts of civil society have established a norm against the use of nuclear weapons and so far ensures that nuclear weapons have not been used. But it's very flimsy and the only way we can ensure that nuclear weapons are not used again is to eliminate them and I commemorate and celebrate the very many efforts and initiatives that we've succeeded on. I come from New Zealand. We used to support nuclear weapons and welcome nuclear warships. We've now banned them. We've banned them from the South Pacific. Most of the world is covered by nuclear weapon-free zones. We have got a, a, a decision from the International Court of Justice that the threat or use of nuclear weapons is illegal. Uh, and then just in 2018, a decision from the UN Human Rights Committee that nuclear weapons violate human rights. So we're on a roll to achieve a nuclear weapons free world. It's going to be hard. Those countries that are still holding on to nuclear weapons, those people who still support them, feel they need them for their security. And we have to convince them that we can have security in other ways, that we can resolve conflicts through the use of the United Nations and the International Court of Justice and through regional organizations. But I believe that we can do it and that we can achieve the elimination of, of nuclear weapons at least by 2045 the 100th anniversary of the United Nations. So I welcome the 60th anniversary of the World Academy of Arts and Sciences, and I look forward to continuing to work with all my colleagues in this organization for peace and a nuclear weapons-free world. Thank you.